What's up guys? So today's video, we're gonna be going ahead and finally attending to my light situation. So for those of you guys that are stopping in the channel for the first time, we ended up putting in an LED kit into the projectors. So it's a Hakari LED um, you know, retrofit kit that I put into the low beam projectors on this 2014 Ram 1500. And basically what happens is when you put a LED kit into the projector, it doesn't project the light as well as you would think it would. I had those same bulbs because they're actually 9006. Um, another thing is if you have a 9006 bulb, you can actually trim one of the tabs off and it'll fit directly in 9012 which is this bulb. So this takes a 9,012 bulb. The fogs on this take a 9,006. So I went ahead and I had that Hakari LED kit in my fogs. It was super bright. So I figured why not go ahead and put it into my low beams. And when I put them in there, it basically didn't do anything hardly. It was almost the same or if not maybe worse than stock and check out my other comparison video uh, where I basically show the projection and the, the fog lights are doing a lot more work than my low beams currently. So what we did go ahead and do, I'll show you guys what we have now, is I went ahead and bought an HID kit. Um, nothing sponsored or anything, but this is a company called Innovited. I've used this kit on my motorcycle and my other cars before, so I know it's a pretty good kit. So it's nothing, nothing crazy. I just got 6,000 K. 9012 bulbs and then it comes with your ballast but i've found these kits are pretty reliable in the past and they're pretty cheap i think it's like 40 or 50 bucks but anyways before we get into details of the kit i want to make sure it works good so that's what we're going to do and basically we're going to keep this video as honest as possible so <clears throat> if you guys haven't already check out my other video it basically shows how to take off the grill and how to change a bulb on this i've done it before in the led replacement video and i'm also going to have a separate video that you guys can check out i'll put a link in the description below on how to remove the grill and take the headlights out so we're going to go ahead and do that we're going to take everything out because in order to, unfortunately i didn't design this truck but to take out or replace your low beam bulb you actually have to remove the headlight removing the headlights involves removing the grill and there's a specific way that you want to remove the grill because a lot of people end up breaking the tabs off so be sure to check out the other video on how to properly remove your grill and your headlights and then we can get started on the good stuff the fun stuff and get into these hid versus leds on these fourth gen rams with the factory projectors so we're going to go ahead and do a comparison i got this wall here i'm going to leave one of the leds in there i'm going to put the hid in the other one we're going to go ahead and do a projection on the wall here we're also going to go out nighttime outside and do the same comparison so that we can hopefully get to the bottom of this and see which one is brighter also just to note that kit that i just showed you guys it is actually a 55 watt kit so a lot of times people end up getting a 35 watt kit so that thing's going to be cranking out as much power as it can like i said those kits are bright so there's no reason why it shouldn't be able to do as much as it can inside the projector so let's go ahead like i said i'm going to rip through this stuff but check out that other video on how to actually take out the grill and i'm going to go ahead and just show you what we're doing inside the headlight and the comparison okay so let's go ahead and remove the back panel off the headlight they are five eight millimeter head screws and it's very easy to remove of course so once we get this out of here we can finally remove the hakari led kit that i have in here but we are going to retain the can bus decoders because those seem to work quite well they are also the hakari brand but we're going to retain those but simply remove the LED kit from in here. So here's the LED kit that I have, the Hakari one. You're gonna turn it counterclockwise, remove the bulb, and remove the latch. So here we have it removed now. And let's go ahead and see what we have for the HID kit and get it situated. With the HID kit, we do have quite a bit more hardware. We have the ballast, this is the 55 watt kit that comes with it and then we also have this decoder can bus decoder the hakari one that i'm going to utilize as well because it worked great before with the led kit but there's a lot more hardware we're unfortunately not going to be able to hide it inside the headlight like i did before so we have to drill a hole to bring everything out so that we can have all this hardware mounted outside and then bring the power back into the bulb so let's go ahead and drill this um, we're going to go ahead and drill in this corner basically on the HID kit you're going to have this grommet 
and it's a fairly large um, large grommet I usually get one of these uh, step bits so these step bits usually work pretty well and then you kind of just sneak everything through so I'm gonna go ahead and put the hole over here which should give us uh, a nice flat surface to bring our wires through and uh, in case you ever wanted to go back in any way you could probably patch it up on a flat surface easier than than maybe over here with this corner um, so we're gonna go ahead and put that hole there also here's our HID bulb and that's gonna fit in there as well so let's go ahead and get started we'll get situated with this hole first so one of the reasons why this hole has to be so big is I mean they, they give you the grommet to be that big but is because this here this clip has to pass through this hole um, these two ones here which are your power leads from the bulb they can obviously fit through this hole fairly easily but getting this one through is a little bit more challenge one kind of tip that I usually do is see this little sir clip you could always unpin these but most people won't want to but you can take this little clip that holds the wires in to make the plug a little bit skinnier so you don't have to drill quite such a big hole so I usually take this thing off and you can see here we still got a little bit to do so we're gonna go ahead and open this a little bit more and basically you can kind of cheat it a little bit and kind of put some dimples in there just to let these two wings to go through but I'm gonna open up this hole a bit bigger so we can pass this through easily okay so this perfectly describes what I was trying to tell you guys that these two little wings are gonna get stuck so you can either go ahead and open it a little bit larger or just notch a tiny little spot in there just to get it through so I'm gonna basically open this up pass it through and we should be ready to go okay so here we are we're gonna pass through that cable these two little guys and we're ready to put our grommet in place you want to make sure that your hole is nice and clean and hopefully somewhat smooth because you want this gasket to seal because of course if this gasket doesn't seal then you're prone to having moisture in your headlights and who wants that so that's the nice clean install that we have the gasket fits perfectly it's all sealed off on both sides and we are ready to go ahead and put in our bulb and put this cap back on and of course hook up our power leads so let's go ahead and get everything connected for those of you that have installed hid kits in the past you're going to find this fairly straightforward but basically the setup isn't as complicated as all the spaghetti of wires looks you have your bulb that you're going to put in you put it in on in this uh, 9012 socket you turn it clockwise it locks it's only one way you can go because there's three different size tabs so really you can't mess that up then you're going to see this one here this wire is to get this is your factory harness which would originally plug into this bulb this is to get the power outside of the headlight so you're going to go ahead and click this together like so this is going to bring the power outside of the headlight so that you can run it through all these ballasts <clears throat> so that's what you're going to have there then you're going to go ahead and put this cover back on unfortunately i don't uh, feel like i want to recommend the innovated or however you say it kit for hid kits for this particular vehicle because i actually ended up having to do quite a bit of trimming to be able to clock this bulb in the orientation that i wanted which was the pigtail harness coming this way um, because it was facing this way and it was getting hung up on here so i had to sit there and do some customization to be able to change the tabs to be able to put it this way so i wouldn't recommend this um, because it's not a true plug and play kit and does require some customization so this is what we're left with we've got the ballast we've got the decoder and this is how you're going to connect everything with whatever particular hid kit you're using so this is the power coming from the computer from the headlight so this is the factory coming from the factory harness we're going to go ahead and plug it into this decoder then we're going to go ahead and plug it into the ballast and then finally the power is going to be going back to the HID bulb which is these two plugs so I know it looks kind of overwhelming we got a lot of hardware here but we'll be able to put this inside the vehicle let's go ahead and plug this in though and see if it powers up and everything works before we go ahead and tuck this all away okay so it's all powered up and this is kind of the difference that we're seeing here so this is shined up against the wall of course and basically you can sit here and see that we have a nice uh, pattern on the wall and it's nice and bright and centered in there versus the other side which the LED kit it's kind of just blurred all over and not really any focused concentrated light so here's another angle 
you can basically see this doesn't really have any particular focus on it whereas that one does so that one looks like it's going to be projecting down the road further so this is where we're going to mount everything i put the ballast basically with some screws into the plastic here the fender liner type material and that's situated nice and secure there and there's also a perfect indent for a ballast there <clears throat> and then i just basically zip tied these two boxes together the CAN bus decoder and i guess this other little box and we're going to go ahead and put this all in here so it should be all nice and neat but let's go ahead and pop the headlight back in So to finalize the install on the headlight, you're gonna to wanna to pull that latch back down. You're gonna insert your two screws, 10 millimeter screws here, or bolts, and tighten everything up. Check out the simple test I did, guys. So you can kind of see now that the HID's warmed up, the kind of light that we're getting on the wall, of course, much better, but this I think really translates well when I take this board, this simple board, and put it in front. So hopefully you guys can see that. You can basically see how much light is output on this board. This is a lot brighter. If I walk over to the opposite side here, let me switch hands. Hopefully the video can capture it, but you can kind of sit there and see that there's this big void in the light. Like, see that big circle? It's not really focused in any particular spot, whereas when we go back over to this side and we look at it again, you can see there's just a huge ball of light focused right in the middle. So, and there's no voids like there is on the other side. Okay guys, this is insane, the difference between HID and LED. It's a lot more than I thought. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you guys can see right now the passenger side, the right side of the vehicle is HID and the driver side is LED. So you can see just how far that beam of light is shining down the road compared to the LED, which is maybe what, half the distance, if that? That's just insane. I wonder if you can see it from outside. Even right here, guys, like look at the difference. It's incredible, I didn't think it was gonna be that much different. I mean, when you're just looking at them head on, they really don't look any different. <clears throat> but when you're taking a look down the road, like, look at that. That's ridiculous. You guys could clearly see the huge beam pattern here versus that tiny little one that just basically dies 10 feet out, it almost looks like. Kind of comes out here. You can see the different color, right? So it comes out and it looks like the light maybe makes it to here and then you could see you could see how far the HID goes oh man that is crazy yeah so that's how far that one HID is projecting all the way to that wall way down there and this LED basically stops over here somewhere not even that far from the truck let's go ahead and project it against the wall and take a look so here's the two comparison up against the wall. Again, you can see even here, there's a lot more concentration of light coming from the HID kit on the passenger side versus there's no real focus or brightness on the driver side, which has the LED kit. Hopefully you guys can see that difference through this camera, but there is a difference to be seen there. It just kind of looks like a, I don't know if this camera is picking up, but it's kind of just like a blurry haze over here, whereas there's a big focus beam on that side let's see if this side gives us any better representation you can see it too i mean just how bright it is up against the wall it's really a big difference so let's go ahead and throw the other hid in the other side and let's see what we got so i know i didn't speak too highly about this kit that i was using but oddly enough the pigtail aligns okay on this side i don't have to reorientate the bulb so um, if you guys want to go ahead and tackle this i mean i only had to trim off just a tab just so i could clock it a little bit different but let's go ahead once we get it all done let's see how good it looks and whether it's worth the hassle but this kit does work like i said you just have to kind of trim the tab so you can clock the bulb on the passenger side correctly 
um, so that this pigtail doesn't interfere with the cover. But on this side, there's lots of depth to the cover on this side where the kind of harness ends. So it seems to be okay. All right, let's finish up. Reinstalling the grill is easy. You just basically slide it straight in. So this is the projection that we have with the HID bulbs in place. You can see we have pretty decent visibility. So we're actually projecting all the way down and we have light all the way to that wall way down there. So I think this is doing quite a bit better job than the LEDs were, but let's go ahead and stand outside and take a look from the outside. So here's what we got from outside. As you can see, it's pretty good looking. You can see that both projectors, they have a nice beam coming from both of them now and they project quite a ways down the road all the way to the end where that wall is way down there. And here's the pattern we have on the ground. You don't see any dark spots or anything like that. It's all pretty even. Here's from the passenger side and you can see how far the light reaches. So I think that's a lot better compared to before for sure. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below or if you guys want me to do another comparison video, but I think it's a pretty good uh, improvement. Here we are up against the wall, so I think you guys can probably see those two hot spots that are on the wall from these HID bulbs. Great cut off, but at the same time, you can see that there's quite a bit more light coming out compared to before. So, of course, my fogs aren't on, and I think we have some great light output at this time. That's what we got there, but let me know, as always, what you guys think in the comments below. Just as a comparison, this is what it's like with the LED fog lights assisting everything. So we got a ton of light coming out of here now. If you guys check the previous videos where I had a different setup, you can compare. This is definitely a lot brighter. Let me know what you guys think, as always, though. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to try any other configurations or have any questions or want me to do any other comparisons that I now that I have this stuff in here. So if you guys haven't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot more videos and we've done a lot of videos. So make sure you check the previous videos for all the different bulb and LED upgrades that we've done so far. Um, and also at the same time hit that bell notification because it'll actually notify you when the next video comes out But as always guys, thanks again, and we'll see you on the next video